Disneyland is set to open in five years in Kent. Construction of the theme park is set to cost £3.5 billion. So, there is a new Disneyland coming to Kent, which is in Britain. So, I'm going to read some of the um, news articles that is, is going to be with the park. Okay, so it's not that much. Okay. It's the it's the news British film lovers and thrill seekers have been waiting to hear forever. No longer do we have to scalp across the seas to get our fix or stardust and Aden Aline for the UK. Well, the UK is finally getting its own Disneyland, which I find is which I find is very exciting, because it's so expensive to go to Florida or even Paris. The theme park will be the first of its kind in the UK. Yep, and is being created by film company Paramount at a cost of three point five billion pounds. Paramount is the company behind such iconic films as Titanic, Frost Gump, The Godfather, Foot, Footloose, Loose, um, Braveheart, Heart, and Iron Man. UK is going to be called UK's Disneyland. The new theme park is set to be built in Dartford, in Kent, and will feature attractions inspired by the films. However, the park will also include rides inspired by the BBC. If you're from the UK and or Britain, um, you would know what the BBC is. Um, inspired by the BBC Worldwide and and Mirren Animations. That like the creators of um, Wallace and Gromit, on the Sheep and Chicken Run. The resort will be divided up into different areas such as Adventure Isle, Land of um, Legends, Car- um, Cartoon Circus, Starfleet Command, Action Square, Port Paramount and Entertainment City. As well as rides, the theme park is planned to include a theatre, cafes and restaurants, shops, hotels and a nightclub. Much like at Disneyland, there will be a Paramount and Friends Carnival every after, uh, every afternoon and a show celebrating the works of Paramount Pictures and our other content partners. Every evening, at an expected £57 for a full price day ticket, a family trip to the theme park will not be cheap. Despite the price of the creators, uh, despite the price, the creators are expecting to welcome up to 40,000 visitors a day. There's like a little image there of what it's going to be looking like, like the British flags and stuff like that. For the plans, the plans for the park, however, are yet to be approved. A development con con consent order the DCO will be submitted to the government in November of what year though because it's already been November of this year or November of next year but Humphrey Percy Percy group CEO of the project's parent company Coeti European Holdings is confident there will be no problems getting the green light to go ahead with the park. We have the financial backing to take us all the way through that process, he said. Provide, provided the plans are approved by the government, construction of the theme park should commence in 2019. With the 872-acre resort set to open in 
2020. 2022. And that. Okay, so that. That's the. That's the. Um, that's. A quick explanation. Of the theme park that's going to be in the UK. Uh, hopefully. It's going to be planned. To be built in 2019. So or 2019. And to be open in 2022 or 2002 okay if you have any other news about the uk disneyland it's it's actually exciting to me because i'm living in the uk and we have to travel a lot um not a lot but we have to pay a lot to go to other the other disneylands yeah so that that's it for this news article. If you've got any other news, any other thing that you want me to see, just comment it down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.